Resident Evil 2 is a game I've been putting off for way too long, but with spooky season creeping in, it felt like the perfect time to finally take the plunge into Raccoon City. Lately, I've been binging some classic horror movies and I needed something that could match that level of tension and fear. That's when it hit me. I had to return to Resident Evil series and feel the terror firsthand, but just playing through it won't cut it, no. This time I'm going all in. We're going for 100% unlocking every single achievement in the game. So today, we're diving into the nightmare, facing every gruesome challenge Resident Evil 2 has to offer, and making sure no stone is left unturned as we complete the ultimate survival horror experience. And as you will see towards the end of the video, we take one of the hardest achievements in the game and make it even harder. Why? Because I'm all about making things harder. That's what she said! <laughs> The first goal I set for myself, as this is a game I've never played before, is to start on the easiest difficulty on Leon to obtain all the Leon exclusive collectibles. Why easy? Well this guy follows us throughout the police station and there is a bunch of stuff to find here so playing on easy mode makes this guy very slow so we can run around and collect everything without worrying too much. Any collectibles not found on the Leon playthrough I will need to go and find during Claire's playthrough. So without further ado, let's get out there, learn the game and its mechanics, and get all the Leon exclusive collectibles. Okay, well, it was last Friday night. I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. The game opens up with Burger Man falling asleep at the wheel and getting himself infected. Then we start our journey going into a convenience store because why not? A fellow cop with quite the ego tells us to stay back because he's got this. Stay back, sir, I got this. He absolutely does not got this, so we take care of the infected individual, run into Claire, and make our way to the police station. Once we arrive, Burger Man decides to show up, and this time falling asleep at the wheel forever, he decides to slam our car. Claire and Leon get separated, and Leon makes his way to the police station. It is here where we unlock our first achievement, and also here where we become better than 30% of the player base. Everyone must have quit after seeing that disgusting burger. Oh, first achievement. Welcome to the City of the Dead. Only 69.8% of players have done this. <laughs> so the 30% of people just quit. We see a fellow cop in need of help, so we make our way over to him. This is where we experience the real guts of the game. We obtain the officer's handbook and are met with our first major task. Escape the police station. Yeah, uh, the station we just arrived at? Yeah, we need to get out of here now. In order to escape, we need to find three medallions. We combine some herbs, which unlocks an achievement, board up some windows for an achievement, and get off a counterattack with our knife for another easy achievement. Then we are met with our first puzzle, unlocking our desk. After some fooling around and defeating this enemy with our knife, sweet, don't need no stinking gun, we finally figure out the puzzle and unlock the achievement first break in, open a dial safe. Our desk provides us with a high capacity mag for our pistol, so we combine those and unlock another achievement, customizer, customize a weapon. We venture forth, collect some more items, and find our very first hip pouch, unlocking the hip to add squares achievement and a few more inventory slots. We play a memory game to unlock a portable safe. I was back down, I was back down. Boom, this is a lot to remember. Oh, what was the last one? I guess. Wait, it's gotta be, it's gotta be this one here. Oh, we're good. It, let's go a bolt like mine. Open a portable safe. What's in it? A spare part, a small part of some sort. We find a weapons locker key card that we will need for a Leon exclusive weapon collectible, and we get this scepter for some unknown reason. Making our way to the armory with the key card, we try to give Boss Man a quick, painless death. It won't let me. It won't let me. Come on, Marvin, just let me put you out of your misery. All right, you can sit there and suffer then. Grabbing our big, juicy, awesome shotgun, we head to the library. Let's see, can we use it? No, I can't. I hoping I can just, you know, stick it in there. Um, not, not like that though. Not like that. Leaving the library with our valve handle, we head to the showers. All right, vermin extermination, destroy a Mr. Raccoon. With our first Mr. Raccoon destroyed, we are making great progress in the police station and then a liquor tries to get in our way. Uh, okay, we need a dongle before we progress this. Oh, one thing. Okay, looks like it left. It's 
So we're gonna try it around this corner. Mm. Uh, I can't really scoot past it. What if I just tuck right here? Leave? I thought I don't have a key for that. He's no match for me. Huh. Yeah, that dude sucks. We finally figure out what the Skeptor does, and yes, I would have never probably examined it. I was just wanting to check if the bottom would fit in the jack we found earlier. We still don't know what this red jewel does but we know it must do something, so we hold on to it for now. Speaking of holding on to stuff, I tend to hoard items in games like these. Because it's my first run of the game, I don't really know what's a must have and what's not important. Because of this, I left the bolt cutters behind in my storage when I really needed them. I forgot about this door. I'm gonna get my bolt cutters. Unlocking the door and pressing forward, we run into one of the most mind boggling encounters of the game so far. Wait, what it what was that shadow? What's that shadow? I don't know what that's oh it's that. Can't get rid of it. <laughs> Dude. That was really getting me. That had me worried. We blow some shit up, obtain our last medallion, but that's not without getting rudely interrupted. Oh shit! How do I heal? Can't I just be quiet? I wanna go after that guy? Escaping the liquor's hunger for meat, we head to the goddess statue to head underground and continue our journey to escape this station while unlocking the path to the goddess achievement. It is here, underground, where we come across the first major hurdle of the game, G. We get him? This boss was actually pretty easy though. We are faster, so we just kite him around this room and shoot the eye on his arm. We defeat him, a ladder is dropped indicating that we are being watched, so we head up to figure out who is helping us. This leads to one of the most devastating events in the game, dogs. We have to kill puppies. And my favorite puppies of all, Dobermans. Damn. Oh. Uh, key card. No. Not a Doberman? You gotta be kidding me. Those are my favorite dogs. I'm gonna have to kill a Doberman. Oh man. Just accept it, Leon. Let him have you. Hey. Who is that? Who's this hey, bitch? Shot. Lower it. FBI. Leon was almost Sorry. cool. Thank you. Help. Surprised you made it this far. Poor Doberman. FBI, huh? What's going on here? Sorry, that information's classified. Where are you going? Do yourself a favor. Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. I don't like her tone. First he shoots my puppy. Hey, I'm not done talking to you. After meeting Ada, we head down into the jail, kill some prisoners, and meet Ben. With Ben deleted and no power to access his cell, we need to find some electronic parts. Making our way back to the police station, 
feeding a doggo a grenade and shooting it for the Bon Appetit achievement. <laughs> Shoot the grenade you fed your enemy? I, I was <laughs> all right. We encounter Mr. X for the very first time, and this is when the game begins to get very interesting, as he can't be killed and will chase us for the remainder of our time here in the police station. I can only imagine what this will be like on hardcore. Can I just run past him? I'm gonna run past him. Oh, I hear him. Go here, go downstairs. This is the dude that chases me like the whole time, right? But apparently, because we are on the easiest mode, he's pretty slow. So we sh should be able to loot and stuff. Oh! Oh no. Paralyze. Keep their heads ringing and paralyze a liquor sense of hearing. There we go. On top of worrying about Mr. X, we need to avoid liquors and other zombies around the map. I'm confused. What do we want with these things? Oh no, where is he? Is he above me? <gasps> Wait, he's confused. I see, I see, I see what I have to do. He's confused though. He went upstairs. Oh, we jumped down. I didn't know he was doing that. Keeping a decent distance from Mr. X, we continue exploring and collecting collectibles. We make our way to the clock tower and obtain our last electronic part needed to access Ben's cell. Solving the circuit outside his cell to restore power, we grab his parking garage keycard and finally escape the police station. Ada unlocks the gun store where we can find the letter left behind by Jill and then witness one of the worst plot devices in all of entertainment, and I hate it so, so much because of how well it actually works. I'm not gonna hurt you. I said don't move. I'm just passing through. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you are. You're gonna turn around and go right back out the way you came in. I uh -oh. think your daughter needs help, sir. Don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. When you Dude, this is sad, man. Terms. Terminate. It's my fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Just let them be, Ada. Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Daddy. Dude. Yeah, daddy's here. Okay. Those fucking things outside. <sighs> what they did to us. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was our sweet little angel. Mommy. I was sleeping, honey. Okay. Bro, this is breaking me right now. And I'm gonna put you to bed too, okay? Emma. Oh, I didn't have to go this dark, man. Privacy. 
It's cheap. Games that you know, do this with kids, man. It's a cheap me, tactic. But why him? And then they. I want to find out what's happening here, and stop whoever's behind it. I'm with you, Leon. Helping people like them. That's why I joined the force. Yeah, it's gotten personal. With that out of the way, we head down into the sewers. After killing the croc, we make our way deeper into the sewers to find who's responsible for this virus. Here begins Ada's sequence. This sequence has a personal achievement where we must complete it without using any weapon. We can only use our EMF hack device. All three of those in the switch. Oh no. We got one. With the other. Oh, 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 oh. Where's the switch? Where's the switch? Oh, I need the... It's that, right? I probably should have done this, this one first. Three seconds. We get it, we get it, we get it. Yes! Oh my goodness. Talk about cutting it close. There was less than a second on there. Where's it at? Achievement? No weapons? Yes! One slick super spy. Use only the EMF visualizer to complete Ada's you? gameplay segment. There we go! Another one. Hack complete. Complete Ada's segment. There we go. Two birds, one stone, baby. Back on Leon with our goal to find Ada, we continue through the sewers. Finding some more collectibles and solving more puzzles and encountering G for the second time. Jesus Christ! Um. Okay, here he comes. Oh, I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Get out of the fire. It is that one guy from the earlier. Boss, what's his name? G or whatever? Let's just keep tightening him a little bit. Grenade? Oh! Was I just wasting a bunch of ammo? I think I was. I just, I think I was just wasting ammo right there. I want that, I want that ammo. I might die because of it, but no, we're good. The other button. Flash bang. Knife. Oh, now I it. got you. Then he gives up flash bang. Go ahead, get up. We got lucky as I didn't know the falling achievement existed before going into this fight. We used the crane only once and defeated G, crocking the gotcha achievement. With G defeated, we rescue Ada, they finally kiss, and we head down to the nest. Essentially, the HQ for these outrageous scientists. Escaping the sewers unlocks the achievement a great need for a shower, and our journey continues. While venturing through the lab, we find our last hip pouch and unlock a waste of space. We recover the G-Virus sample for our investigation and encounter G for the third time. After defeating G, we confront Ada, realizing her FBI investigation is implausible and she may be a spy sent to steal the virus. Ada pulls a gun on us, but is shot by a net and falls to the bottom of the facility along with the G-Virus. The facility now is about to self-destruct, so we begin making our way out. On our way out, we encounter Mr. X again, but now he's a mutated super tiger. Did we do it? Did we do it? Oh yeah, give me the rocket launcher. We'll call it 
She's alive. Where did this thing come from? <laughs> Dude, am I dead? <laughs> Defeating him with the rocket launcher thrown down by Ada and doing it with five plus minutes left until detonation, we earned the in the blink of an eye achievement. We jump on the train and reunite with Claire and Sherry. This concludes our first run on Leon and awards us the achievement a hero emerges complete Leon's story. With all the Leon exclusive collectibles out of the way, it's time to start Claire's journey on easy mode and collect anything I missed during my first run as Leon and all of her exclusive collectibles as well. We will also not be healing or interacting with the item box during this run as that will reward us with two achievements. Our first task is again, find and obtain all three medallions. We've grabbed the first medallion and while we search for the other two, we will be sure to collect all of Claire's exclusive records. We forget things that already happened in Leon's playthrough because I'm big dum dum. Why'd I do that? Stop. There we go. All right. That was one of the ones I missed in Leon's. More ammo. Oh. Outside the library is the second medallion, and now all that's left is to blow some shit up so that we can snatch our final medallion. With all the medallions, we can activate the goddess statue and head down into the basement. It is down here where we meet Sherry and encounter her father, G. The fight is effectively the same as when we fought him as Leon. We send him over the edge, Sherry helps us up, and we continue our way out of the basement and into the parking garage. It is here we meet the weirdest dude in the entire story, Chief Irons. He abducts Sherry and takes her to the orphanage, and every time I see this dude, my skin crawls. Hats off to this voice actor, fantastic job out of him. On the ground, now. Oh, we're putting him in the dirt. Sherry, tie her hands. Why are you doing Shut this? Shut up. Tie her. Okay then. You tie her up now or she dies. She's gonna die if you tie her up. Come on, Claire. Grab your gun, shoot him. Grab your gun, shoot him. What's this all about? Child endangerment for starters. Nah, this dude's free. Sherry, come here. What are you gonna do to her? None of your fucking business. You heard her, I swear to God, my brother is stars and I will fuck that. Claire must escape the jail, and instead of Doberman's this time, it's infested with liquors. Here's the liquor. Just gonna walk past him here. Walk past that one as well. <gasps> fuck! How? Did I step on him or something? And the other one's behind me. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Claire, go, go, go. Just get to the door. Get to the door. Get to the door. What was in there? What we, okay. Just gunpowder. No. I'm gonna die. No. Stop it. Just go on the ceiling. Leave me alone. Go on the ceiling. We're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked, we're fucked. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Don't see me, please. I think we got it. I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, almost there. Okay, we're good. Let's run. There's one out here! Fuck! I thought there's only two. There's fucking three. We're leaving him. We're leaving him. We're leaving him. We're leaving him. Get down here in the stairs. I don't. I don't think he's coming out of there. I think. I think we're good now. I think we lived. I think we lived. Shut the door. Shut the door. Shut the door. We can't shut the door. Whew. I did not know there was a third one out there in the hallway. Fuck! He's mad at me. Nice run. We have to be slow. We have to be slow. There's the other one out here. He got us last time. Look at him. 
We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, I didn't mean to run. 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 I'm so dead. I didn't mean to run at all. Give me there. Give me there. Give me there. Give me there. Come on, go. Okay. We finally make our way out of the jail and back to the police station. There's an achievement we can get if we shoot Mr. X's hat off, so that is what we are going to try and do here. Are right, you guys ready? Let's go shoot his hat off. I'm pretty sure this one is going to pop up. This one you popped up with Leon. Got it. His hat's off. Jesus, stay back. No achievement? No way it was because he was in that animation, right? Look, we shot his hat off, man, but we didn't get the achievement. What? We got it? Hold on. Unlocked today. Hats off. Shoot Tyrant's hat off his head. Wait, we got it, but I didn't see it pop up. Okay. Regardless, we got him. Let's bump up those achievements. We grab another gun from the armory and unlock the door to the parking garage keycard where we receive a call from Douche Lord himself. Playing as Sherry now, we must escape the orphanage and things get pretty weird. Okay, someone's diary, we don't know their name. If you're reaving this, go call Pulse. Boogeyman's here, eating everybody. Many bark boogeyman's here. Help, they're coming. Help me, mommy. Dude, why is this game doing this? I don't like that at all. I'm coming, Sherry. Fuck. Get over here, you little bitch. Lock it, lock it, lock it. Okay, this one doesn't lock. Get some more acid. Get some more acid. The game is over. Now you're in trouble. Let me go. Yes. Yes. Kill him, G. Which I'm pretty sure is her dad. Just picking up, picking up what they're putting down. 30 minutes earlier. With Douche Lord getting what he deserves, we complete Sherry's segment and are awarded the Hide and Seek achievement. Back on Claire, we must make our way to the orphanage to help Sherry. Exiting the parking garage and heading down some dark alleys, we need to once again kill some doggies. There he is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. At least it was quick for him. We arrive to the orphanage, grab a few collectibles, and then head to the final room of the orphanage. He's still alive? Your fault. What? Took too long. What happened? Oh god. That's all right. I want to be the one to kill him. Oh my god. Deserve. Jesus Christ. Deserve. Always double tap. Remember. Remember that, guys. Always double tap. With Douche Lord finally dead, we head into the room and find a hatch that Sherry must have went down, so we head down after her. In our hunt for Sherry, we run into the worst mother on the planet and jump into the sewers. There was a safe we missed during Leon's playthrough, so we grab that, and this grants us the Master of Unlocking achievement. Okay, SZF, and this sh should be our final lock and should get the achievement, the Master of Unlocking or whatever, I think. Pretty sure. There it is, Master of Unlocking. Open all the safes and locks in the game. Let's go! We once again complete the chess puzzle and head down to fight the second G phase. With G out of our way, we finally rescue Sherry. However, Sherry is now infected and instead of leaving her to die like her mother was trying to do, we take her with us and we must get to the lab in order to find her a cure. With Sherry tucked in like a bug in a rug, I decide it's time for me to tuck myself in and continue this achievement hunting tomorrow. Freshly showered and some lighting adjustments, we continue Claire's playthrough and pick up where we left off in the lab. While searching for the cure, we run into some liquors, and this happens. 
Alright, we're on the lookout for a Mr. Raccoon down here. Tell you, like ski shooting, we got him. Oh, that was unintentional, but we'll take it. We'll take it. So that was shoot a zombie, a dog, or a liquor out of the air. We also grab our final collectible that can be obtained during Claire and Leon's A scenarios. With the vial in hand, we run into Annette and G again, and Claire decides to flex her badass skills. Damn, Claire, all right. You don't know what you're up against. I have a pretty damn good idea. Whatever you do, don't stop until it's finished. Trust me. This ends now. With G once again out of our way, we run back to Sherry where we find her mother, cured her, and then died. Yeah, I don't feel bad at all for Annette. <laughs> it just sucks for Sherry, though. With the lab about to self-destruct, we make our way to escape. I know there's an achievement if we defeat the final encounter of G with over four minutes on the clock, so that's what we are going to try and do. We died to G a few times because one, I'm not using any healing resources for this run, and two, because I'm just a moron and I was only using half the arena. Shoot all those. Yes! We got it! With time to spare, defeat stage 4 G with four plus minutes left until detonation. There we go! All right, now do we get all the other achievements too? Just looking for three, looking for three. With G defeated and with time to spare added to our collection, we start the train to escape the lab, reunite with Leon, and finally complete Claire's A scenario. There it is, a he hero in emergence. Complete Claire's story. There's one. Minimalist, clear the game without opening the item box. Sweet, so now we don't have to worry about that for the rest of this play for the rest of this uh grind and frugal has completed the game without using a recover item yes three more achievements unlocked and before we jump over to leon and claire's b scenarios i wanted to quickly jump back to an old leon save to unlock one quick achievement treasure hunter we grab our roll of film from our item box create the photos in the dark room and now we know one of the treasures is in the star's office and the other is in the press room going to the star's office first we find the first treasure a red dot site for our lightning cock i mean hawk and then in the press room, we find the final treasure and unlock the treasure hunter achievement. With both the A scenarios beaten, it's time to begin Claire and Leon's B scenarios. We are going to be starting with Leon, and I thought I knew enough about the game to try and pair up the Leon as Kennedy achievement, which requires us to get a rank of S on any difficulty except assisted, which is essentially their easy mode. And because this was my first time on Leon's B scenario, and I still had a lot of collectibles to find here on the B scenario, that was going to eat at our time, and well, you can only imagine that this did not go well. No, wrong way, Leon! God damn it, Leon. Why would you do that? Now Mr. X is going to catch up. He went up the stairs. Thank God he went up the stairs. Nice, and he dropped. Don't climb the ladder, though. Keep coming this way. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. We're in. Oh, this way. Got nothing to heal, though. Can he come in the clock tower? I want to say he can't, man. I think if I just go fast, he doesn't get me. <laughs> Leon, get off. Leon, get off. Leon, get off. Bullshit! Two of them! Ah! No! I, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, man. I can't fucking do it. How am I supposed to do that part?
Bro, you fat fuck! What?! By the time we get to the G2 fight, I essentially have zero supplies. Little to no ammo, and little to no heals. I knew in order to get an S rank, we had to go fast, so I did not grab anything while playing, which was a huge mistake and led to one of the worst fights I have ever had during this whole completionist task. Um, uh-oh. We're gonna run into that dude. And we got nothing to fight him with. Shh. Oh. I'm so dead, man. The damage reduction is huge, though. Now. Wait. Did I not pick up the concussion? Oh, I'm on my knife. Uh. Come on. Come on. Come on, Crane. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I didn't think that. I didn't think that through. I didn't think that through. That's that's my bad. I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. Th yes. No. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, God damn it, bro. How are these avoidable? How do I avoid that? But it comes so fast. I can't avoid that. I'm not even in the attack. I'm trying to use my concussion. Jesus Christ. I can't beat this guy. There's like literally no way. What gun is this for? Not mine. None of my guns. Please, yes, 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 finally, man. Let's hope that's the last one. <laughs> yeah, it's not, but. We finally kill G2 and head to the labs. My brain is pretty much melted at this point and I'm ready to check out, but we persevere as getting that S rank will be worth it. We arrive to the labs, an area I am very confident in, eliminate G3, kill the super tyrant, and then go on to face the train boss for the very first time. Excited that the B scenario is over and we got all the collectibles from Leon's B scenario, it was time to now see if we achieved the rank of S. And we did not. We got it. Our time was way more than we wanted it to be, but that's okay. We got all of Leon's collectibles. We will tackle that S rank another day. The next day, we jump right back into Resident Evil 2 to unlock the Leon S. Kennedy achievement, and this time, the run went so much smoother. We decided this time to do the run on Leon's A scenario rather than the B because I felt much more confident on that A scenario. This run gave us pretty much no problems. G1 dead, mutated crocodile dead, Making our way to the G2 crane fight, we are feeling just a bit nervous, but we came much more prepared than the nightmarish run we had yesterday. 
We get out of the sewers and make our way to the last zone of the game, the labs. We kill G3 with no problem and arrive to the final boss of the A scenario for Leon. All right. Doing good. We need to go left on him, though. Left on him. All right. This should be good for the first stagger. There we go. Keep running left on him. Going right was our big, biggest mistake. Last time we uh, went up against him. All right. A little, little bit smaller of an arena. It's going to get a little harder. Oh, I thought we got hit by that. We're good, though. I right, would got to make sure we can stagger him if he does the one shot. We're good. We can heal. We, we can heal. We can heal. We can heal. Where did this Yes. Let's go! Alright, did we get the S rating? We gotta we got skip these, we gotta skip these, we gotta skip these. Let's get there. You have arrived at the bottom level until destination. See you later. Get out of my way. GG's. S rating, please. Come on, S rating, S rating, S rating. Yes! S plus! Completely on story on standard. Let's go! All right. There we go. Now we just have to do Claire. We just have to do Claire. But there we go. Man, as you guys saw from, uh, you know, the earlier clips there, uh, when I tried to do this on Leon B, huge mistake. It was my first time doing Leon B scenario. I thought, I felt good, confident about the game. Um, but we got, we got railed. I'm gonna be honest, we got railed. But there we go. There, we just did it. Two hours, no saves. I think one death. Yes, one death. But anyways, let's move on to Claire and do her S on standard mode. Let's do it. Starting Claire's B scenario for the first time, we decide to also go for the standard S rank and we need to find the final files needed for the lore explorer achievement. So we start progressing our way through the Raccoon City police station once again. Completing the goddess puzzle, we move on to the first G encounter, and with him out of our way, we progress through the prison in search for the electronic components. Unlocking Chief Iron's office, we now begin Sherry's segment, in which we are going to try and escape her room in less than 60 seconds to unlock the young escape achievement. Yeah. Move the first block to, to third, I think. First block to third? Okay, gotcha. We'll see. Uh, star circle. Oh, good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit. Nice, good call. Can we get out? Can we get out? If I get out in under 60 seconds, we get an achievement. Go, Sherry! What is this? Yes! Yes! Young escape. Escape the bedroom within 60 seconds during Sherry segment. Thank you. We do just that. Shout out to the chat members who helped me out with that puzzle. I appreciate you. We escape Chief Irons and jump back over to Claire. We grab the parking pass, make our way to Sherry, and go collect the final collectible in the game. All right, here we go. We should get the achievement right here. Did we get them all? What? Wait. There it is. Lore oh my God, I was worried. I was so worried we missed something. Lore Explorer, read all of the files. Yes. We progress through the sewer with little to no problems, complete the chest puzzle, and make our way to the crane fight. No, not right there. Um, why, why am I so dumb, guys? Hold on, we can do this. We can do this. Hurry. Time for an encore. Stun him. Claire, run! Claire, run! Claire, run! Come on! Oh, thank God. Thank God we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Jeez, man. That was way too much, man. That, mm. We kill G3 no problem and begin the home stretch. We unfortunately die once to G5 because, I don't know, I suck.
but we get him on the very next attempt, beating the game with an S plus rating and proccing the sizzling Scarlet Hero achievement. Next up on our achievement hunting list is Claire's hardcore college student, which is unlocked by completing a run with Claire on the hardcore difficulty. Because we did already get S ranks on standard, we unlocked the infinite knife and infinite pistol. With this in mind, I thought coupling up this achievement with a small carbon footprint, take no more than 14,000 steps in one playthrough, would be a good idea. The run was going smooth as butter, clearing every boss, no deaths, and making excellent time. But then, we made our way to G4, and mistakes were made. Uh, this is not going good at all. This is not going good at all. Oh, this is not going good at all, man. Oh, not the charge, not the charge. We're so dead, we're so dead, we're so dead. Our first death of the playthrough. Oh, man. Please tell me it didn't reset steps. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, we can, well, I know we can do that better. It's so over two minutes and he's got his charge. Bro, it's so over. Wait, wait, last phase, last phase. Yes, last phase. I wish I had the minigun, I wish I had the minigun, I wish I had the minigun. We got him if we don't die. Woo! Oh man, that was a grind. That was a grind to get him right there. That was a grind. There we go. There we go, here we go. For the achievements. Carbon footprint. The last shot. The last shot, we got him. Let's go. Achievements? Carbon footprint, come on. Hey, we got A ranking. That's fine, though. That's fine. We died a lot there. A small carbon footprint. Take 14,000 steps or fewer in one playthrough. There's one. Give me the hardcore. The hardcore achievement. Excuse me? Hold on. Let's just see. We, no, no, no. We got it. 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 Look, right here. It just didn't pop up, probably because carbon footprint popped up or something. It was, it was it bugged it, but hardcore college student. Complete clear story on hardcore game mode. Only 2.34% of gamers have unlocked this unlocked today. There it is. Before going for Leon's hardcore achievement, we quickly jump into the DLC to knock out those achievements. Wait, zombie roundup. Kill three enemies at once with a sub weapon. Wait. But we unlocked it before Grim Reaper, which means we did it during the fourth survivor thing. So, okay, it was just bugged. So we got it. I should have maybe checked and refreshed the achievements. We're good though. We got that one. Perfect. We got it in the DLC. We have saved the best for last. Hardcore Rookie. This requires us to complete any Leon scenario on the hardcore difficulty. However, I'm adding a couple little twists. We need revenge for our hideous Leon B run earlier. So we will be doing this on the scenario I am least confident on, Leon B. We also won't be saving at all, and for those of you that don't know, Hardcore does not have autosave, which means if we die, the run's over. We will have to restart from the very beginning. Oh, and we won't be using any infinite weapons, and we have to get S+. Why? Because that's the best way to end this 100% completion. <laughs> Maybe I'm a bit crazy, but Hardcore, no saves, no infinite weapons, S plus only, here we go. Here we go. Let's grab this grenade and let's get to the first G1 fight. I brought the shotgun and the Matilda. I probably didn't have to and I could have kept the spray. Um, I just want, I want to be extra safe just in case the knifing does not go to plan. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Best of luck. Come on, we got this shit. Oh, we got him. Hold on. Oh, 
Come down. Throw him back a little bit. Maybe just one Matilda shot. There it is. All right, we did two Matilda shots. Uh, the knifing went somewhat okay. Um, we probably had him if we just stuck with it a little more. We kind of missed a few uh, at the very beginning. Our first run is going pretty well until this happens. Oh, that's two shots. It's completely wasted. My game just crashed? Please tell me it didn't crash. No! What? This pretty much tilts me for the rest of the night. <laughs> so we make mistake after mistake after mistake. After one of our deaths, we forget to restart and just select continue instead. This keeps the clock running. We didn't realize this until after the G1 fight, and typically we are around the 25 minute mark, but because I hit continue, we are at the 50 minute mark. All right, let's go. Back to the the jail up here. Um, this is where my game crashed for some weird reason. It's the first time it's ever crashed, and unfortunately with no auto saves, we're forced to restart. We're 51 minutes. Wait, there's no way that's accurate. <laughs> 51 minutes. So forced to restart, we finally decide to lock in. We make our way to one of the last boss fights, G3, a fight I am very comfortable with, but we make one incredibly crucial error. Burn him, baby, burn him, baby, burn him, baby. Swap up. Get that bubble back. Excuse my bad aim. No. I should have brought a knife for the nades. Just for that. Just, I forgot. I forgot he had a one shot. Man, that sucks, guys. That hurts. That hurts. Unfortunately, we did not complete this challenge on the first night. I went to bed and woke up feeling incredibly confident. So here begins our first attempt on the very next night. I really think we knocked this out in one go. Lots of mistakes made yesterday. Lots of learning from those mistakes that we made yesterday. And I think, I think we're gonna knock this out of the park. I'm gonna be honest. Like we do this in one run. Um, and that's all there is to it. All right. This should kill him, hopefully. All right, he's down, he's dead. Perfect, we got him. All right, let's blow this hunk of meat up. He's dead. No, I don't have any signs. Please, 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 please. Come on, Crane. Come on. Thank God. Thank God. He's dead. All right. Is everyone ready? Here we go. G3. Got the shield activated. Right, come on. Come on. Shit. Doing the overhead. There's that's kind of what I was looking for. Burning them, baby. We're burning them down. We're done with the flamethrower after this. Alright, he's getting back up. Let's grab this fuel. Wait, wrong side. Oopsies. Alright, he jumped. Another nade. I want to grab this. Nice stagger on him. That's okay. That's okay. All 
Okay, he opened up back up for us. Burn him down. Burn him down. All right, phase. I think he's in the last phase, yeah? Yep. Keep burning him. Reload. All right. Hopefully he's dead after this. Hopefully he's dead. Yes! Yes! There's a tech on this guy. If we stand close to his left shoulder. Can we just stagger him here? Okay. Run through. Run through. Run through. Run through. Okay. Stun him. Okay, grab rocket launcher. Switch to it. There's one. There's two. Yes! He's done! Oh, we got this shit now. You have arrived at the bottom level. Let's go, let's go. We get him all? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Rocket launcher ready. Show me that eye. Show me that eye. Show me that eye. Yes! S plus, S plus, zero saves. S plus! Yes! Give me the achievement. Give me the achievement. Come on. Come on, where's the achievement? Hardcore rookie, there it is. I don't know why it didn't pop up, man. The game bar is kind of weird sometimes. I'm playing this on Game Pass, obviously, on, on the PC. But we did it. You can see right there, 44 out of 44 hardcore rookie completely on story on hardcore mode and we made it even harder we didn't use and obviously hardcore doesn't have auto saves and we didn't use any manual saves as you saw there big flat zero 